Harry Potter is one of my all-time favorite movie trilogy. I remember the hype of the movies from over 23 years ago in 2001 fans being excited what the movie was going to be about but with every movie there is always a mistake you will notice in all eight films as I'm sure most of you Potterheads already know, there are eight movies in the Harry Potter series, all of which were filmed over a span of 10 years. That's a lot of opportunities for mistakes to be made. Despite the immense success of the Harry Potter franchise, over six and errors do happen, no matter who's behind the wheel. Not that it really mattered in terms of success. Six of the series' eight films are among the 50 highest grossing films of all time, so I'd say they did a pretty good job, all things considered. Some of these mistakes will have you scream and hock it they have missed that. And others will require a super fan's equal eye, but all of them can serve as little reminders that no series is perfect, no matter how popular or critically acclaimed. Here are 25 movie mistakes from the Harry Potter series that you might have missed. Did the producers of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire not realize that Die Hard fans were going to come for them over the slightest details? Guess not. In one scene Harry is sporting two thin scratches along his cheekbone which somehow miraculously change into one thick scratch only moments later. Harry Potter fans were on this like white and rice because they can't get enough of staring at Harry's glorious nerd face. Of course, they noticed. Two scratches don't become one, from one scene to the next. I bet the movie producers didn't think this was a big deal, but when you're taking one of the most popular your books of all time and adapting it into a movie, there are plenty of people just to tune for you to make a mistake. 24 Visible Wires 045 DC 58 270 4 2 48 CFB 5 ABE 5 C 3 4 5 CE 8 4 4 1 4 1 2 6 0 0 0 0 0 AA 6 B 6 C 38 B 1 via the Odyssey and Lion come nothing will take the magic out of a film like seeing visible wires, Amirat. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Professor Quirinus Quirrell announces that there is a troll in the dungeon. After Dumbledore shouts for silence, he asks the teachers to follow him to the dungeons. In the following shot of Professor Minerva McGonagall, the wires from the candles are clearly visible. For shame. Granted, you have to be looking really hard to see it. How do people even notice these things? Do they just pause every scene and look for screw-ups? I bet that's exactly what they do, the nitpicky little bastards. I guess creating one of the top grossing movies of all time wasn't good enough for them. Critics, man. They're everywhere. 23 The Jumping Blanket 57 DF 5 D 55 BA 9 3 4 7 CA minus 8 AC 3 3 CF 23535 E 6 A 6 1 4 1 2 6 0 0 0 0 0 AA 70822 0 the Odyssey and Lion come and like some of the other Harry Potter films, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince didn't have nearly as many oopsies as the others. Saying that, there was an oversight involving an orange blanket in the beginning, and, of course, all of the hardcore critics noticed. In the scene where Harry is chilling at Arthur's house, a blanket is seen positioned on the arm of the sofa. Not that I noticed it at all, but apparently some people did. In the next scene the camera angle changes, and so does the blanket, and suddenly it is positioned behind Harry's back. It's pretty clear that Harry never moved the blanket at any point during the scene. Oops. Not unforgivable, but still a continuity error, if you're looking for it. 22 yep, that's a cameraman. 7234 6, 6, 7, 1, C2, 0, 4, 3, 9, 9, 8, 5, C5 to 72 before CB11 E6, 8, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, AA6 C4 37074 via. The Odyssey and Lion come I'll be honest, some of these mistakes are pretty nitpicky, but not this one. I can't believe no one noticed the very obvious cameraman in this shot. It literally makes me lol. Maybe they added it this before they had their morning coffee. Who knows. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, there was a massive production error if you look to the left of the shot during the dueling scene between Harry and Malfoy. That's clearly a cameraman right there, doing his job and paying the bills, and clearly not part of the wizarding world. This could have been prevented if he were wearing a brightly colored t-shirt or something, but as it is, B blends in with the students around him and made it into the movie. If I were him I'd ask to have my name listed in the credits. Hey, it's only fair. 
21 bye bye legs 6, 3, 5, 9, 6, 4, 5, FCEE -E 3, 4, 5, 8, 6, 9, 0, 0, 6, DFC 2 before D0 C0 DB, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, AA 6 E 4 D 91,896 via. The Odyssey in Lion Kong we all know they used CGI in the Harry Potter movies, but it sucks when it's super obvious. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry, Hermione and Ron find themselves in the Forbidden Forest where they are, introduced to a giant named Grope. As Grope lifts Hermione into the air, part of her legs are removed via CGI and the digital lines are clearly visible. I guess her legs weren't needed. Both the editing team and the special effects team are responsible for the silver side. When you're creating a magical movie, literally, it's extremely important that all of the effects be believable and on point. How many times did the movie producers slash editors slash special effects team view this scene before the movie was released? Obviously not enough. 24 lines, or 3. C5, 1, 8, 0, 1, 0, C A 0, B B, minus 47 E 0, a 218, a 600 E 319 E 7, 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, A A 6 D 3, 1, 8, 6, 5, 8, 6, via. The Odyssey and Lion come in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. There's a scene where Fred passes a note to Ron in the Great Hall, but the writing and the amount of lines on the paper is clearly different by the time it ends up in Ron's hands. Did he pick up the wrong note, or is this just another obvious movie error? You guessed it, they done messed up again. Movie producers, if you're going to use a prop in a scene, even if it's a small one like this, then make sure to use the same one in every shot because people are bound to notice. Even the handwriting isn't the same. I guess the director couldn't decide on what he wanted the note to say, but now I'm dying to know what was written on the first one. 19 musical chairs D2 BC 519 CD 3 8 4 B 9 B minus 8 C O 3 7 4 7 8 4 5 C F 1 E 1 2 1 4 1 2 6 O O O O O A A 6 F B F 0 F 56 Seville. The Odyssey and Lion come in the movie Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. There's a scene that takes place in the Great Hall where it looks like all the students seated at the table are playing a game of musical chairs, except they're not. Oops. In one shot we see Fred and George Weasley seated in the fifth and sixth seats, spot the redheads, but in another shot, when the camera angle changes, the Weasleys are gone and some other random kids are sitting there instead. Apparently there are other shots during the scene where the mix-up is obvious as well, so it's not just this one. Again, I don't know who has time to notice things like this, but I guess there are Potterheads with a lot of time on their hands. 18 growths or visible battery packs? You decide. E2 before F9, 3, 7, 8, 9, 3, 4, 4, 8, 2, 1, 42 Bicotta 7, 6, 9, 5, 3, 1, 0, 6, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, AA6 CD8 to 6 C39 via the Odyssey and Lion Come Oh Man. This is another bad one that even I would notice. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, when Hermione and Harry go back in time and hide from Malvoy, they are seen sporting some pretty obvious battery packs under their shirts, either that or they both need to get themselves to a doctor. These portable packs are used in movie production all the time, but they are never supposed to be noticeable. When you're sucked into the fantasy world that is Harry Potter the last thing you want to see is something that reminds you that none of it is real. This is a pretty bad screw up, and this isn't the only scene where they're obvious. Talk about a major production fail. 17 toweling consistencies 1FB 833DA5, 3, 6, 4BA0, AE5B, minus 7 ec 8 d 39 f 3 e 0 e 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 59C 423CVA. Guilty fix common Harry Potter and the Gauntlet of Fire I guess no one could decide on the towel or what to do with it. Maybe it had been a long day. In the scene where Harry saves Ron and Gabriel during the True Wizard tournament, he comes out of the freezing cold water and Hermione hands him a towel. Should be a pretty simple scene, right? Yet they manage to screw it up in a multitude of ways. 
Not only does the towel jump from Hamion's shoulders to Harry's shoulders several times between shots, but it also somehow manages to change colors. Hamion's own towel goes from dark gray to off-white, which is the towel she initially handed to Harry, but then suddenly she has the off-white one again and Harry's got a brand spanking new bright white towel. Who knows where it came from? There are different towels, in different locations, in every single shot. Keep it simple, stupid. 16 art fail, E3F 7761F, 8, 4, 0, 0, 4, 6, 3, 2, B71E, 3, 8, 9, 5, 0, 2, 3, 6, 6, 5, 4, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, AA 71987 81 the Odyssey in Land Common Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Part 1 Someone needs to back to art school, because this ain't the same drawing. Consistency is key. In yet another example of a mistake that only the diehard fans, or critics, would notice, when's Nephilus Lovegood draws the first part of the Deathly Hallows symbol E, one touches the bottom of the circle. In the next shot, however, when it cuts back to him drawing the triangle, the line stops just above the circle. The travesty. Clearly they used a different drawing for each scene and thought no one would notice, but these are Harry Potter fans we're talking about. Of course, they noticed. If this article has taught you anything at all it's that Harry Potter fans take this shit seriously and every scene is dissected bit by bit. 15 different gates 1C8C5, 4, 5, 4, E0A, 4, 8, 7, 8, 8, CAD, minus 93E3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 0, 8, BBE, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Guilty fix common Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets there's a scene in which Harry is running from the basilisk and ends up at a gated dead end. Strangely, as Harry lowers himself down and finds himself trapped, the gate behind him seems to change completely. From one scene to the next, the steel bars rearrange themselves and create a gap. I'm not exactly sure what happened here to make this possible. Did they film two separate shots for the same scene on different days? That must be the case, otherwise they would have had to erect two completely different gates behind him from one shot to the next, and what would be the point in that? You'd think they would have checked the footage from the previous scene to maintain consistency, but nope. 14 Which pocket did I put this in? 3C 297B 6A 53B, minus 4348, AA 27 to 227 BFD 2F 8, 3, 7, 7, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, AA B 318 E 427 Avia. Guilty fix come in the movie Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. There's a scene in which Wendell places Voldemort's wand inside the left side of his coat, as seen above, before he slices off his right hand. When Voldemort asks for his wand back, Wendell can be seen retrieving the wand from the right side of his coat. I guess he figured it would be highly awkward trying to retrieve the wand from the left side of his coat without a right hand so he switched it up in another shot. Unfortunately, when you put all the shots together and try to make it seamless, inconsistencies like these because rather blatant. If the fans are noticing it, then the editing team should have noticed it first. Too late now. 13 styling mistakes 7D7E24DA, minus 492A, minus 48C4, the 1BFC7 is 72 13F1, 6, 5, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, I would know, my mom crimped my hair every day before school back in the 80s and the only way it would come out was if I washed it. During the flying lesson scene in the movie Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, sections of Hermione's hair have clearly been crimped. Who knew Hogwarts had a crimping iron? Anywho, in other shots, during the same flying lesson, the crimps are barely there, or non-existent. Crimps don't just disappear when the wind blows on them. I'm not sure why the hair and makeup team decided to crimp me old hair to begin with, but since they did, they could have at least been consistent about it. 12 structural issues 168B0EFE72F, minus 4D6, the 1EEEED06F128ED2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, at 47 Fevia. Guilty fix com this is pretty messed up, guys. You don't really have to look hard for this one.
During the movie Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, there is an exterior shot of the Dursley's house through the bad patio door. In the first exterior shot the kitchen window is pretty far from the door and a large head stands to the right of it. The enclosed patio also seems rather narrow and small. Later, when Vernon falls to the ground and Petunia runs to him, the kitchen window has moved drastically to the right, part of the brick wall is missing, and the hedge is gone completely. It looks like a totally different house. Not to mention how large the enclosed patio got. In the second shot it's big enough for a bench that didn't even exist earlier. Amazing how this was all overlooked. Eleven different shirts for the same scene. 22 E 7671 C 7 2 4 4 9 E F 9 5 6 8 7 2 E 0 24 F 3407 B 1 4 1 2 6 0 0 0 0 0 A 8 B 0 B D C 98 C 1 via Guilty Fix Comet the movie producer has to film the same scene on different days you'd think they would at least check to make sure that the character in question is wearing the same clothes for continuity purposes. Guess not everyone thinks ahead. During Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, there's a scene in which Harry is lying in bed wearing a short sleeve, crew neck t-shirt after his confrontation with Seamus. Upon waking up, thanks to a vision of Voldemort, he is suddenly wearing a long sleeve button down Henry t-shirt. WTF. Unless Harry changed his shirt in his sleep, he didn't, then this is a pretty obvious mistake on the part of costume design. Even if something happened to the original t-shirt, shouldn't costume design have more than one of the same outfit, just in case. Fail. 10 These costume designers suck. 0522 FFCEE 0D4 4 9 1 9 9 8 4 5 AB 20 DF 2 D 62 of 2 1 4 1 2 6 0 0 0 0 0 AAB 18 E 0 712 via Guilty Fix Come OMG, not again. I could do a better job of costume design. SMH. In the movie Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix there is yet another noticeable costume fail that takes place at the playground where Dudley and Harry confront each other. In the first scene Dudley is seen wearing black shorts with large letters and numbers on them, notice in particular the very obvious number 5. A few scenes later, however, Dudley is seen sporting black shorts with a completely different design, no more number 5. Even if the actor spilled marinara sauce down his pants during lunchtime, isn't it the responsibility of the costume design team to have two pairs of every outfit so that inconsistencies like these never happen? Wait to think ahead. Nine different trunks, same scene 606 F91, 6, 1, D6, 6, 6, 4, 2, 7, 8, 8, AB5, EB7, EB7, 1, 1, 2, 8, 2, 0, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, at 9868 C95 via. Guilty fix come as you can see in the picture above, during a scene in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets there's a pretty obvious prop fail. As Ron and Harry's luggage carts collide on their way to the Hogwarts train, Ron's trunk clearly has three strips of brown trim down the middle. In the next shot, however, Ron's trunk only has two strips of trim in the middle, as you notice when they climb to their feet. You would think the prop design would be more careful given the boys fall down right next to the trunks. Clearly no one on the set of the Harry Potter movies thinks to have a double set of anything. Something must have happened to the original trunk, but they should have at least had an identical backup. Amateurs. 8 They're just messing with the snobby 6876 F7 F2 7 8 7 4 1 D minus 8 B7 A minus 2 is 16 B8 C B18 E B 1 4 1 2 6 0 0 0 0 0 Area 3 F0 0 10 VAR Guilty fix come in this scene from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban the ground is looking a little different from shot to shot. Notice that before Cirrus flies off on butt but the ground is free of any sort of debris, but when Harry and Hermione show up and Cirrus has just departed, the stone is covered in dead leaves, grass and mud. Was there some kind of strong wind or something? No, it's just another movie inconsistency waiting to be noticed and commented on. It's almost like the producers are messing with the viewers' heads. Maybe they create little inconsistencies on purpose just to keep us entertained and increase viewership. Think about how many times these critics had to watch the movies in order to notice every little flaw. Brilliant.
7 switch inside D5 CE2, 7, 9, 0, 7, B8A, minus 49 AC, minus 8 to 5 CB06 CF92 F, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, AAB 21134 AA3 by Guilty fix com there seems to be a little bit of a debate on whether this shot was taken from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but we'll just go with what it says, not that it matters, a mistake is a mistake. In the first shot Hermione is sitting next to Percy Weasley on the left side of table with Harry across from her on the right side. In the next shot Harry has moved to the other side of the table and is suddenly between Hermione and Percy. In this scene there is no time for him to have moved and wet himself between Hermione and Percy, so it looks like it was simply another inconsistency during shooting. Surprise, surprise. 6A parting of ways E5100 BCE, minus 5B3D, minus 46F0, A02F, one e 58593 CD5, 5, 5, 7, 1, 4, 1, 2, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Guilty fix come during the movie Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone there is a scene where Ron and Harry are both set on the train on their way to Hogwarts. In the first scene Ron's hair is parted down the center, but over the course of the right it changes to a side parting. Bravo, hair and makeup team. First the crimping and now this. Unless Ron was feeling a little extra and went to the train bathroom to restyle his hair, I'm thinking this is just another mistake that no one even noticed. I honestly would have never noticed it myself had it not been brought to my attention by the internet. The Harry Potter films are picked apart more than any other movie franchise.